Hello everybody. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Jai Shri Jawaji. Today, we shall continue reading the book The 5 AM Club: On Your Morning, Elevate Your Life by author Robin Sharma. Tolsey wrote, "Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Become a bigger person and you'll also automatically become a better leader and a greater producer. And yes, I agree that growth can be scary." But my mentor once taught me that the part of you that clings to fear must experience a sort of crucifixion so that the portion of you that deserves high honor undergoes a kind of reincarnation those are the exact words he shared with me freaky and deep right said the hobo as he rubbed the holy man beads he was wearing he kept going without waiting for an answer my special teacher also told me that to find your best self you must lose your weak self and that only happens through relentless improvement continuous reflection and ongoing self excavation if you don't keep rising daily you'll get stuck in your life for the rest of your life makes me consider what the journalist norman cousin said the tragedy of life is not death but what we let die inside of us while we live the homeless man raised his raspy voice and observed my special teacher taught me that once we tra- once we transform the primary relationship with ourselves we'll find that our relationship with other people our work our income and our uh, and our impact transform most people can't stand by themselves so they can never be alone and silent they need to constantly be with other people to escape their feelings of self hatred over all their wasted potential missing the wonders and wisdom the solitude and quiet bring or they watch tv endlessly not realizing it's eroding their imagination as well as bankrupting their bank account my life feels so complicated i feel so overwhelmed i don't have any time for myself the entrepreneur re- repeated not sure what's happened to my life things have just become hard i understand you the artist said as he placed an arm over his new friend's shoulder my intuition tells me that you are going through a lot more than you are sharing and that's okay you know some days life seems to so messy that i can't get out of bed i just lie there man i close my eyes and i wish the fog in my head would just go away even for a day i can't think straight some of the time and on those days my heart has no hope in it at all it sucks and a lot of people suck too much i am not anti social i am just anti moron too many dumb people around these days taking stupid fashion pictures of themselves with pouty lips in clothes they can't afford hanging with people they don't even like i had rather live a thoughtful life a risky life a real life an artist's life drives me crazy how superficial people have become the artist then punched one fist into his other hand unyielding pieces appeared along his jawline and a blue vein twitched in his thick neck sure i got you said the homeless man life isn't easy people tough slog a lot of the time but like john lenson said everything will be okay in the end and if it's not okay it's not the end he offered kindly spouting yet another quote from what seemed to be an unlimited supply in his brain the artist softened instantly smiling in a way that looked almost sweet he exhaled mightily he liked what he had just heard and the wagon continued this climb up into the rare air of personal and professional mastery that the three of us have obviously signed up for is not for the weak upgrading your life so you know real joy and optimizing your skills so you own your field can be uncomfortable a lot of the time i need to be honest but here's one key thing i have learned the soreness of growth is so much less expensive than the devastating so- cost of regret we are we have had you learn that questioned the artist as he scrawled the words into his notebook can't tell you yet the homeless man responded heightening the mystery of where he had discovered much of his insight the entrepreneur turned away from the artist and jotted down some of her thoughts into her device the homeless man then reached into a pocket of his whole ridden plaid shirt and produced a heavily used index card he held it up like a kindergarten student at show and tell a distinguished person gave this to me when i was a lot younger as i was star- staring my first company i was lo- i was a lot like you cats dripping with dreams and set to make my mark on the world hungry to prove myself amped to dominate the game the first 50 years of our lives are a lot about seeking legitimacy 
you know we crave social approval we want to appear to respect us we hope our neighbors will like us we buy all sorts of things we really don't need and uh, obsess about making money we really don't enjoy totally right muttered the artist nodding his head head aggressively and shifting his posture noticeably as his dread looks danged over his shoulders the event when you was now empty if we have the courage to look within we discover that we do this because we have series of holes within us we falsely believed that material from the outside will fill the what's empty within ourselves yet it will never never will anyhow when many of us reach the half part half time point of our lives we make a right angle turn we begin to realize that we are not going to live forever and that our days are numbered and so we connect with our mort- mortality big point here we realize we are going to die what's truly important comes into much sharper focus we be- become more competitive we start to wonder if we have been true to our talents loyal to our values and successful on the terms that feel right to us and we think about what those we love will say about us when we are gone that's when many of us make a giant shift from seeking legitimacy in society to constructing a meaningful legacy the last 50 years then become less about me and more about we less about selfishness and more about service we stop adding more things into our lives and begin to subtract and simplify we learn to savor simply beauty experience gratitude for small miracles appreciate the priceless value of peace of mind spend more time cultivating human connections and come to understand that the one who gives the most is victorious and what's left of your life then becomes a phenomenal dedication to loving life itself as well as ministry of kindness to many as this becomes potential your gateway into immortality he is really special whispered the entrepreneur i haven't felt this hopeful energized and grounded in months my father used to help me nav- navigate difficult times she told the artist ever since he passed away i don't have anyone to le- lean on what happened to him twist the artist i am a little fragile right now even though i feel stronger now that than i did when i walked in there this morning that's for sure but i i'll simply say that he took his own life dad was a remarkable man a tremendously successful business pioneer he flew airplanes raced fast cars and loved superb wine he was so alive then his business partner took everything away from him not so different from the horrible scenario i am living right now anyway the stress and shock of his world collapsing pushed him to do what he what we could never have imagined he just couldn't see any way out i guess the entrepreneur revealed as her voice broke you can lean on me the artist said tenderly he placed a hand with a hippie ring on a pinky finger onto his heart as he spoke these words looking both chivalrous and bohemian the homeless man interrupted the intimate moment of two were sharing here read this he instructed as he handed over his index card it will be useful as you both rise to your next performance levels and experience everything that comes with this adventure into human leadership personal mastery and creating a career of uncommon productivity in red lettering over the paper that had yellowed by the advances of time it read all change is hard at first messy in middle and gorgeous at the end that's very good noted the entrepreneur a valuable piece of information for me thank you the artist then resumed playing his illegal copy of the spellbinders presentation each one of you carries a quiet genius and triumphant hero within your hearts dismiss these as idealistic words of an elderly inspirationalist if you wish but i am proud to be an idealist our world needs more of us and yet i am also a realist and here's the truth most people on the planet today don't think much of themselves unfortunately they secure their identity by who they are externally they evaluate their achievement by what they have collected versus by the character they have cultivated they compare themselves to the orche- orchestrated and fake highlight reels presented by the people they follow they measure their self worth by their net worth and they get kidnapped by the false thoughts pos- possibilities their lives are near- meant to become this explains why the majority is sinking in the quick sand of uncertainty boredom distraction and complexity drama mamas the homeless man interrupted again that's what i call men and women who have caught the virus of victim victimities excuses 
all they do is complain about how bad things are for them instead of applying their primal power to make things better they take instead of give criticize instead of create and worry instead of work build antibodies to combat any form of average from getting anywhere near your professional days at the office of your private life at home never be a drama mama the entrepreneur and the artist peeked at each other then they giggled both at the terms the quickery stranger was using and at the way he had raised an arm and made the fingers of one hand into a peace sign as he spoke the words he had just shared if you were standing there with them you you would think he was weird too the spellbinder could then be heard speaking the following words on the recording with dramatic flair to be clear every day for the rest of your life you will be faced with the chance of showing leadership wherever you are and in all that you do leadership isn't just for global icons and marketplace titans it's an arena everyone gets to play in because leadership is a lot less about having a formal title a large office and money in the bank and a lot more about committing to mastery over all you do and in who you are it's about resisting the tra- tyranny of the ordinary refusing to allow negativity to hijack your sense of oh and preventing any form of slavery to mediocrity and infesting your life leadership is about taking a difference right where you have planned real leadership is about sending out brave work that ex- exemplifies genius turns your whole yield on its head by its scope innovation and execution and is so st- st- stagingly sublime that it stands the test of time and never work only for the income labor for the impact make your dominant pursuit the heartfelt release of value that represent an uncommon magic that borders on the poetic demonstrate the full on expression of what possible for a human being to create develop the patience to stick with your dedication to absolute world class output even if we over a lifetime you only ge- generate a single masterpiece to achieve this fear alone will have made your life's journey a worthy trek be a virtuoso a stand out an exceptionalist the top 5 percent are a lot less concerned with fame cash and approval and a lot more invested in punching about their weight class within their craft playing about their pay grade around their talents and creating the kind of productivity that inspires and serves millions that's often when why they make millions so never mail it, mail it in always be, bring it on the homeless man now had his eyes op- closed and was down on the floor doing a series of one arm push ups all the while he was chanting on your morning elevate your life the entrepreneur and the artist shook their heads one of my favorite books in is the prophet muse the artist it is one of the best selling works of poetry ever written i read the khalil gibran carried the manuscripts around with him for four long years and re- refined it constantly before giving it to the publisher just so it was pure art i still remember the exact words he spoke when he was interviewed by a journalist about his creative process because they guide me a lot when i am in the studio his words keep me reaching for a greater power as an artist even though i battle procrastination a lot like i said i am pretty good but i know i can be great if i could just beat myself sabotage and my demons what did he say as the homeless man now standing and twiddling with his big watch beads of perspiration and meander down his angular face he is exactly what he said mentioned the artist i wanted to be sure very sure what every word of it was the very best i had to offer nally replied to the homeless man that's the standard that the best ones always hold themselves to abruptly the spellbinders could be heard coughing in the audio his comments that followed seemed to struggle out of him like an unborn child fiercely reluctant to leave the security of its mother loving mother's warm and safe home anyone can become an everyday leader by showing up as i am encouraging when it's easy and especially when it's difficult starting today and if you do so a guaranteed victory is in your future and i need to add that there is not one person alive today who cannot lift their thinking performance vitality prosperity and lifetime happiness magnificently by varying in series of profound daily rituals and then practicing them until they become your second nature and this brings me to the single most important principle of my talk the greatest starting point for winning in your work and making a splendid life is joining what i call the 5am club how can you ever be world class if you don't crave 
out some time each morning to make yourself world class okay all let's send up for today from the next recording we shall continue to read the book the 5 am club thank you for continuously listening to our recordings if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you